Out here in Corpus Christi. I keep saying Corpus Christi every time I mean to say Corpus Christi. It's kind of a tongue twister. But here we are, we're back on the scene. Yesterday was so much fun, we got a chance to do a little catch and cook. I caught my first ever Texas redfish, if you guys wanna see that video, or both those videos, you know where to look, down in the description. But first, finish this one, because today is gonna to be an ultra banger. We've got a full day now. Unfortunately, we're the last ones to show at the ramp. There's a fleet of like 50 anglers out here right now. What's the goal for today, Lucky? What are we trying to accomplish? We're trying to catch what? Bigger redfish, right? We're also trying to catch more redfish. And then lastly, maybe just dabble with a few other different species. This is such a weird ecosystem. Imagine a big saltwater lake. That's basically what we're fishing right now. Without further ado, we're gonna head north? South. South. About, I almost about 15 had it. mile run. Um, we're gonna run 15 miles south. Alex knows the game plan, I don't. We're gonna go look for them beggings. Meet you there. Look at this water clear. This is so much different than what we fished yesterday. We are at spot numero uno right now. Very, very pumped for this one. Alex is also, of course, going to be fishing today too because saltwater is his game and I also need some help. It's not my forte. No. You guys know that. I bass fish. I fish ponds and creeks and streams. Not big saltwater lakes. So he's going to throw some different stuff while I throw some different stuff. The baits that we're going to kind of go back and forth with are some lures that we had success with yesterday. For example, this right here, this little saucy swimmer. What we were doing is we are taking these saucy swimmers, weedless rigging them on an eight ounce swim bait hook, dipping the tail in garlic dye. That little bit of dye seemed to make the difference. Every swim bait that I threw that didn't have dye on it, didn't get bites, so it's kind of weird. We're also gonna throw some smaller swim baits like this guy right here. And then I'm also gonna experiment with something that has a little bit more flash given the fact that we are fishing some greener water. so And then we might even throw the, the bloop and the hound today too, if we can find calm enough water to get some fish to eat on surface. Basically just kind of experimenting. This is what this trip's all about, just exploring, figuring out new stuff. I feel like I've already learned like so much just by fishing these waters for the past half day. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna strap the GoPro on and get to fishing. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Yep, yep. Swim bait? Yep, on the drop. On the drop. That's what it feel like, trout? Yeah. Where was that? Oh, big one. Oh, big <laughs> oh, trout. On, big trout. Big trout. Nice, nice. Nice, dude. Dude, on a purple and like yellow. Oh, that's a big <laughs> trout. <laughs> yeah, it's a studly. Oh, Let's see if I can put us on spot lock. Dude. Oh, it's a dude, tanker. That's, that's, that's that's, He'll go 20. I think it's bigger than mine yesterday. Buddy, we found something oh, man. on the swimmo bait. Bring it. She's barely hooked, it looks like. Oh no, she's hooked pretty good. Oh, a little extra spunk there. Yeah, no, didn't like the idea of getting touched. There you go. There we go. First fish of the day. Yeah. Nice little trout. Boop. Good fish. Ate the swim bait. Little swim bait. Yeah, man. Four inch. Four inches. Four inches, man. I don't get it. Something, something that we found is that four inches kind of seems to be the magic number. So yeah, no, I wanted to change it up to like a purple and like a chartreuse. Yeah. And that seemed to be the ticket. And dude, that's a twenty-inch trout. Yeah, not bad. Hey, we One found something. Yeah, something. We found something. something that was alive. Okay, now it's your turn. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. Come on. Right out in front. Little trout. Little trout. Just literally just switched to this bait. There we have it. First cast on a new bait. Threw something a little bit heavier that actually had a, a blade, like an underspin. And this guy came up and thwacked it. Nothing big, but like if you find one, usually you can find a few more. So I'm just gonna put this guy back and make another cast. See you later, Jimmy. It 
It's literally gonna run out as soon as we get to the ramp. What the hell? Let me catch you guys up to speed a little bit. My asshole looks about like that right now. It looks about as puckered as it gets. So as you know, we took a 15 mile run. What was it, Baffins Bay? Let's just say it didn't pan out. We did catch fish. I caught a trout, Alex caught a trout. That was cool. But what we didn't realize uh, is that we only had a half tank gas. And usually this, I mean, I've never really run this thing more than probably 20 miles. You can kind of feel it, like it wants to give up right now. We did about five miles on just E. Put the boat back in the trailer, filled with gas, and then head back out here. Looks like things are starting to calm down, and we're just gonna shoot for some shallow water redfish. Be farting on fumes at the moment. Okay, let's get out of here, get some gas, head back to the scene, catch 50 redfish, call it a day. We have three gallons left. It's good to know though. I've never run my, my tank dry, so it's good to know how much gas I really have. Okay, who the hell cares? Let's get back on the water. There's a sheepy. At least that's some life. Sheepy head. There we go, I'm on. There we go. There we go. That feels like a red. Oh, no. No, not a redfish. More like a speckled trout. Pretty good one, too. Yes, sir. Ha oh. ha. I got you, Jimmy. Nice little speckled trout. Again, not really like what we're truly after. I'm looking for that drum ski, but it's a step in the right direction. They're so pretty, man. See you later. Nice, put her there. One more, one more, many more. There we go. Something, something, something. I have something. Wow, it's big, whatever it is. Holy sh it's pretty good. This is this is pretty big. I have no idea what this is, but it feels good. It's either a giant sea trout or a pretty nice redfish. Wow, it's moving like really nicely. If I can spot lock is here. So it can't drag. Yeah, it's a good fish, whatever it is. <laughs> You're just talking about how shitty the fishing was. I go to pull up on my saucy swim. Dude, this is a good fish. Walking back. Walking back. Oh my god, dude, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Dude, what the hell do you have? I think I've got a nice dude, red. Dude, 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 no, it's a good red. It's a good red. It's a really freaking good red. Is it really? I didn't it's see. It's a really freaking oh, it is red. a good. Oh, it's a nice fish. Dude, it's like a 20 plus. Oh, that's a nice red fish. Boys, we got a nice one. Let's go. Dude, he hammered it. Like full, like flat out, just boosh. This might be the fish we came here for. Like, I cannot believe this. Like, we've had such a, oh yeah, that's a nice red. Oh yeah. Quality red ski. Quality red ski. Woo. 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 This thing is fighting hard. This thing is giving me the business. Okay, come on. Come on now. Oh. Good fish. Wow, good fish. Dude, this is a probably one of the more powerful redfish I've ever hooked up to. Let's see if we can land it. Here comes the tough part. Yes, let's go! Woo! Yes, sir. That is a red ski if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it has been like, dude. Brutal. Alex and I were just saying, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Because it's supposed to be windier tomorrow and right now it's super windy and the fishing's slow. Like we've been fishing hard. The only time we haven't been fishing is when we were filling up the tank with gas. It feels good to get this guy. Not a huge one. Probably one of my bigger redfish I ever caught, but not a huge one. Just a lot of fight though. It surprises me how much these things fight. Let me take my glasses off so you can see the excitement in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous fish. Definitely what we came here for. Definitely what we came here for. Hell 
Yes. <laughs> just sm just smoked the camera. That that honestly was one of the hardest fighting fish I've caught in a long time. <sighs> we did it. Caught a nice red ski. <laughs> Unreal. There's one. There we go. Don't know what it is. I think it's another redfish. Yeah, it's definitely another redfish. Come on, stay pinned. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned, baby. Yeah, another redfish. Oh, hell yes. I actually caught another one. This is so sick, dude. They are really few and far between, but they're here. Oh boy, come on, don't go in the trolling motor. If he wants to get in the trolling motor, he knows that's my weakness. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Dude, oh my God, I'm not sure if you guys realize this. Probably not because we'll edit down a lot of the boring, not catching footage. But dude, today has not come easy. Here we are in like the last minute of daylight, and that is redfish number two. Just had to keep fishing, like that was it. Like so, it was honestly so tempting just to pack it up, go back to camp, scarf down some brats, some Johnsonville saucies. But you know, Alex and I are, are gun ho. We don't get the opportunity to do this that often. We're only here for a few days, so we figured we'd make the most of it, and it's definitely paying off. Not as big as the first Jimmy, but it doesn't matter. That's a quality one again on the saucy swimmer. Holy moly. Okay, my guy. Thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> yes. Kicks like a drum. That was a pun intended. <laughs> you want Cheeto? Want hot Cheeto? <laughs> She's like, too spicy. <laughs> we pulled through today. Like, to think that we ran out of gas, had to put the boat back on land, then fill up, and then catch those two redfish, unreal. But this is the part of the day in which I give a huge thank you to our sponsor, that being Fish Brain. It's an app I really love to use. Anytime I'm going to fish new territory, such as what we're doing right now, I hop on the app and try to find a little bit of intel and what people are catching, where they're catching them, how they're catching them. Uh, it's it's come into play a lot in the New England Center. It's actually coming into play today. If you guys haven't followed me on Fishbrain, be sure to do so. Here's my handle. And if you guys haven't subscribed or checked out Fishbrain yet, be sure to check the link down below. The cool thing is, is Fishbrain's holding a little promo right now, or if you use this code right here, you can save 20% off your quarterly subscription. You can download the app for free. It's a free app, but if you wanna upgrade, and unlock some neat little features like I've talked about in the past videos. You can pay for a subscription, which is really cool. But anyway, I figured this would be a nice little moment to post our beautiful catch. Wow, the fish is beautiful. Not sure about my face. This is definitely some boat hair. We've, we've clocked like five hours running in the boat today. So we're gonna go in the app right now and post this catch. Do you like fish brain? Look at that tail. <laughs> I should just like be like, I caught a wiener dog and just post this on fish brain. Keeper, actually just kidding, I threw it back. Not a keeper, too stinky. Not a good keeper fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on the app real quick. We're gonna post this catch because I also wanna share how we've been catching them today with you guys if you ever come down to Corpus Christi and, and wanna catch redfish. It's a fish that I highly suggest you catch before you know you end your fishing career. Anyway, let's scoot on over to the app. Fish brain, fish brain. Cool, so I'm gonna log my catch uh, that I just caught. Let's see. Uh, what do you say? Weight? 28 inches, six pounds. I'm listening to the redfish guy over here. Okay, it's telling me I don't have internet, but we can still post this. Cool thing about the Fish Brain app is you can go into such like finite detail. Basically what I'm gonna do on the app is I'm going to uh, post the method in which I caught that fish. I'm also gonna post the, the gear, like the rod and reel, which is right over here. This right here has been like one of my favorite saltwater rod and reel setups. Uh, I use this an absolute ton, as you can see. I ripped the cork off. It's got bluefish juices on it, striper juices. Now, we've accumulated some redfish points in this setup. It's a 7.6 uh, medium heavy action rod. It's a spinning rod. I love throwing spinning. 
whenever I'm in saltwater scenarios, just because the drag's a little bit smoother, I can kind of dial my drag. Saltwater fish tend to be very wily, as you saw that, that redfish pulled some drag, so I'm able to quickly change the drag on a dime. Um, and this is a 4,000 size spinning reel, a little bit overkill, 3,000, 2,500 is perfect. 20 pound test, and the bait that I'm using is the wonderful, glorious Saucy Swimmer. And again, I don't have internet connection right now, but if I were to have connection, which I'll show you later on the app, uh, you can go in and add all of these details. So you guys can check out exactly what I'm using, what my favorite gear is. Again, I'm not a redfish angler, but we did catch some today. So I feel like any tips to help you guys in the right direction to, uh, to land some fishes is, is primo. I want everyone to know how we got it done today. And there we have it. Just press post and we are live. Again, be sure to check them out. They're actually amazing people. I've been using the app before they even approached us for a sponsorship and dial it in with fish brain. 20% off right here, use this code. And also it'll be linked down below. But the sun is setting. I think we have time for one more little tiny drift. So maybe we could squirt out a nice little red ski and then we'll meet you guys back at camp. But how about that? We went from like negative 100 to positive 100 throughout just a few hours. Hell yeah, let's make some more cast. All right, let's roll on in. Ah, one more cast for good measure. Let's roll on in. You on? Oh, you had a fish, dude. You had a fish the whole time. <laughs> no way. No! What was it? Did you see it? Well, on that note, one more. <laughs> yeah, I watched it go like tight. I was like, wait, what? What the? F That's hilarious. What no way. The <laughs> there you go. Where is that? Trout, that's a trout. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's a trout. Is it catfish? Is it? A, no, it's a trout. It's a trout. Out. There we go. I'm on. Oh, another trout. Another trout. They're here, bro. We might have found a, a mess of them. Last light trout skis. They're right there. They're right there. Let's go. <laughs> Last light trout skis. This is insane. Alex just caught a nice little trout. Here I have another one. We might have found a little mini school. This would be insane. Yeah, they're right behind us. Go ahead. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. That's so funny, dude. Literally said last cast. Well, guys, I think this is where we're going to close out today's video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this kind of little micro series. I don't really know what to call it. I don't think it's a series. It's more of just kind of a story. Basically, this has been a lot of fun to uh, to come to a part of Texas I've never really been to before and share with you guys our endeavor. Again, be sure to check out Fish Brain, the sponsor of today's video, because they love us and we love them. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to destroy this prod right here, uh, just like the redfish destroyed my swim bait today. And I'm gonna bid farewell to you guys. Thank you guys so much for the view. I hope you guys are sticking with all these epis. And as always, folks, keep broading, never stop.